welcome. Today I've got the 666 deck from Riffle Shuffle. This was a Kickstarter project that I backed quite a few months ago now. Uh, I backed the set that came with the Rose Gold, the Frostbite and the Gilded Metallic Edition. We've got a sticker for each set as well. This 4th anniversary card, which is metal, as you can see, it's got like kind of a bronze or brass finish. And the back is the same as the back of the deck of cards. It's quite heavy, it's quite a nice thing. Also this little envelope, just with the commemorative card on. How hard it is to read on the video is exactly how hard it is to read in real life. Metallic black on black is uh, possibly not the best design choice there. It just basically says that it's just a certificate to say that I backed this. I was one of the 739 backers to back it August 16th, 2022. Yeah, it's just a commemorative thing. It's really nice though. I like this. This company's just put a bit of extra thought into how the backers will feel about stuff and those little design choices that make you feel good about backing a project and that you've, you're getting something a bit extra quality. So the decks are very similar, but I will go through them. There's a couple of little design choices that are different per deck. So we'll go through them and we'll see what's what. So I've just got them out of the cellophane. We'll have a quick look at the tuck boxes. The boxes are all the same with the exception of the cold foiled over the numbers just to identify the different decks. So this is the holographic version. So the front of this one it says dark reserve instead of playing cards. But it's all there's embossing. There's a lot of detail, it's gonna be really hard to see. I'll try and get the light to sort of shine on it a bit. Riffle shuffle on the side there, and then on the back, quite a lot of really nice holographic stuff put on there. And this was 1603 out of 1666. The little devil logo, which I think is going to be the same as the back of the playing cards. Only difference is on these, you can't see it very well, but it does say 4th edition on the side there. Whereas on these it just says Dark Reserve again. 2022. Very nice. So just on the inside of the tuck, 666 again. I saw on the, the project on the Kickstarter that inside of the box there is a design, but I'm not going to start ripping apart my boxes. This time, you can see straight away the kind of rainbow holographic effect going on. So we'll start with the Jokers. Both the same, but like I said, that holographic foil is really amazing. The cards feel really nice. They are... Cardamundi slim line stock with a B9 true linen finish. Feel thin, feel flexible. Really nice. So Ace of Spades there. Just with the riffle shuffle stuff on it. The the pips have all got a little kind of detail to them. It's different on every one as well. Very unique. So Jack of Spades, it's Grim Reaper there, he's reading his book. So yeah. Queen of Spades, got a rook. King's got a trident and some goat horns. Ace of Diamonds. So it looks like we're going to get black and holographic as the, the colours of the suits. I mean, 
if you look at that when the light catches. Beautiful. Jack of Diamonds, scales there. Queen of Diamonds got a, a snake or a serpent of some sort. And the King's got a sword. The detail and where they've placed the holographic foil. So the King of Clubs. The sword again, but in a different direction. Queen of Clubs got a little dagger. Jack of Clubs got a flag. And the sword is very much ready for battle. And then the hearts again with this holographic effect. Sword through the head. Queen's got some poison. The Jack looks like a full on bow and arrow with a bit of a kind of bike of look going on almost. And then at the end of this we've just got an R and a door. And another double sided card. So I've just had a quick look and opened up the Rose Gold and Frostbite. They are the same designs. Just this one uses the rose gold metallic and this one's kind of like a an aqua blue metallic. Um, the back design again just uses the relevant metallic ink. It's a bit easier to see than the holographic one I think. All monotone but the the design choice of kind of like the devil goat with the star and the 666 and we've got the skeletons coming over the top. Such an amazing level of detail. I think this might be a similar back to what they use on most of theirs. I know the other thing to look at is that Ace of Spades is different. So the rose gold one is two skeletons looking through the devil's work and on the frostbite We've got them chained up, praying to darkness. You can just about see the metallic effects of the foil there. And that's just a better view there of that, that gate we saw with the R. The Jokers are supposed to contain a secret six of hearts within the flames somewhere. Now I haven't been able to see it yet, but there's a good look. if it'd be more obvious to somebody else but I haven't seen it yet anyway um, the cards very nice like I say the feel of them is good they feel thin a little bit of slipperiness to them which will be really good for tricks and stuff the quality finish is fantastic the design is brilliant um, I'm really impressed with them the extra little bits they've thrown in I know I had a, a high-ish pledge level, but even so, even just the little stickers, they make the difference to the pledge. I'm really happy with this deck. I've been looking forward to this one for a little bit, and it's, it's definitely delivered. Yeah, really happy with it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed looking at it with me. So the next deck we're going to do is the Fellowship of the Ring. The King's World Project version. I'll get the Theory 11 deck out as well. And we'll have a quick look through that. He's already got his next deck funded. Um, so we'll wait for that to come as well. But this one's taken ages because it's been the Gilded Edition. So we'll get onto that one next. Alright, I'll uh, see you all soon. <laughs>